How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. Jacob's sneaking around there back there in the back, too. We're going to work on that. 648G. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to try to get it operational, running, maybe pick up a couple logs with it. And then I'll have another video out, but I'll have a sneak, sneak peek of this Prentice 210D knuckle boom loader here. Anyway, let's get started on this thing for the, before it gets too hot. Wiley, what you gonna do first? Well, let's check the oil. All right. Start with the essentials, right? Yeah. I'm wondering if there's any snakes in here. Yeah. How long has this been sitting? Oh, that's got plenty of oil in it. Oh, yeah. Look at that black gold. Yes, sir. I like your official oil wiper offer. So what's the story on this, Wiley? Well, this man had logged for years, and he... Uh, he was welding up a wheel, a trailer tire wheel, an old Dayton wheel. Okay. These loggers will know what I'm talking about, and truckers. Sure. And he got in her and he welded it and it blew up on him. Oh no. And it just affected him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, physically and he wasn't able to carry on and I don't think his sons wanted to log and so he just piddled for a while after that best he could and then just quit. Looked like he pulled him some tops to load up there. That's right. This yeah. is his property we're on, of course. Okay. So we'll see what happens. It's a 1995. In the year of our Lord, 1995? Yes. 648G. It's got 28L26 tires on it. Yeah. So it hasn't been sitting that long. Not terribly long. Not as some as we have seen sitting. There's right. one up here that's been sitting for about 15 years. The, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a video on that. Our I'm trifecta. Sure. Our third one in the <laughs> trifecta that we're going to attempt. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, so this one shouldn't be an issue. We'll just throw a battery in it and call it good. That's that's usually how it works. Yeah, and a crescent wrench and a battery should crank this. I would think so, you know. <laughs> okay, so we got good oil in it. Well, I guess we'll need to check some other fluids as well. We'll check the fuel in it. It smells good. <laughs> smells like money. Yeah but I think we probably need to add some. Oh, Whoop. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's making fuel. Yeah. <laughs> See, back when it come out new, it had a little old metal rod right here that you could check the- Oh, that's right, there. yeah, that's right. I remember those. Yeah, that didn't work out too good. Yeah. Oh, look at this big old pipe wrench and a dead blow hammer they got here. Man, that's a pipe wrench now, I'm telling you. We call these monkey wrenches. Sometimes other people call crescent wrenches monkey wrenches, but this thing right here, listen, it's gonna be simple. I mean, even the gauges are clean, but listen, we ain't got no friends to contend with. That's the main thing. Yeah, got a cobra up here, listen. Riley, hey. why they set a a stump underneath this axle, you reckon? Well, I'm thinking the tire leaks down. Oh, smart. And it's, uh, I think when we get this running, we'll see that tire. Yeah. It's flat. Oh, gotcha. The pipe wrench, you see right there, when you open it up, the monkey wrench, they, they see the cap, that's a valve stem cover right there. Yep, sure is, isn't it? So they was, they knew they had some issues with that tire. Yeah. Have you ever wonder what that looks like in there? Well, we're going to find out, ain't we? We sure are. This is where you check the transmission fluid in this thing and add transmission fluid to it. Oh, yeah. You move that out of the way to... I'll be that gun. ...to add. And there's the dipstick. Look at that. This thing's making fluid. <laughs> we might sell this to Chevron. That's right. That's hilarious. And there's some where your alamites, where you grease your steering and all that. Right, right, right. Without having to crawl under it. Sure. Convenient. And I think that this tank has got a uh, sight glass for the hydraulics fluid that runs the blade, grapple, steering. Let's see, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. 
must be on the other side, but this is the hydraulics. Yep. That uh, 615 19 on that filter right there, June of 19. That's current. I, I would say that's current. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. To all the potential buyers. Hank, you see right on front here, that little sight glass. The sight glasses are my least favorite. I do see it, yeah. but they're my very least favorite way to check fluids. And yeah. I don't know why they come up with that, but because you know they've they, upgraded that. They've got computers that says <laughs> computers are cold empty. <laughs> While we're up here, we'll check the coolant. Now I need some. They ain't showing none in the radiator here. We'll Is put that non-potable water? Add some non-potable water. It's a. Uh, it's not quite the 50/50 mix that we was hoping for, but. I probably need that monkey wrench to take that off with, or a crescent wrench of some sort. <laughs> well, how about these? Uh, how about these new Dewalt channel locks? All right, bring me some of those. So we've got a whole five-gallon bucket of hydraulic fluid right there. Got a funnel right there. We're gonna take this oil filler cap out. We're even in the shade. Ain't that something? So we should be. Able, look, this is gonna be the easiest wheel start we've ever done in this whole channel. I, I don't know. This is almost sacrilegious. Hello. That was something. About dropped it there, Wiley. Yeah, I seen that. And some cat light reflexes saved my camera. I'll tell you what, you just look old. With. <laughs> All right, thumb that funnel up here. Okay. Look at that. We have funnel and earl. We put the fun in funnel. Yeah, Wiley, when you find these easy stuff, you know, it's really good to save them before they get too far gone. That's true. And plus, I can see fluid, by the way. And plus, I got Jacob here. If we started with a hard one, he wouldn't come back. <laughs> That's right. Why is a young man down there with the, the the heavy stuff is up here? I don't know. It's just the way the, the world is today. Yeah. These entitled young people. Yeah, Jacob, listen. <laughs> it's been sitting a while, hasn't it? A little bit. Get the rainwater off of it. I think we have a leak, but it's okay. I know you have do not resuscitate, don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do, actually. Yeah, I want to be, when the Lord calls me home, I want to go. Yeah. You don't want to come come back to the light, do you? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. It's got a little bit. I don't Checking know. the prime on that fuel pump? Yeah. See right here, here's your... You tell this is older one because they don't even make that type of fuel filter anymore. Gotcha. Huh. Interesting. Checking batteries in that tray up there now. Brought the penetrating oil out. That's going to help us out. Let it sit for a minute before we're ready to open this thing up. Been, uh oh, I hope it's. I hope I'm not out of. <laughs> I hope I'm not out of penetrating fluid here. That should work. All right, we'll get this access panel off. That bolt there. That bolt there. Let's see here. It is a 5 8. Look at you, man. All right. No, oh, you just took all the fun out of this. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that wasn't even a challenge. I could have done that with my hand, I think. No, I think it's ready to come out. This one's a 9-16. <laughs> uh. I like how they put all these different sizes on there. Look at there. And there was no wasp. Now I understand how he had it. Yeah. Wiley, I think we can jump that. We, instead of trying to take those 80-pound batteries up here. Yeah. We'll try to jump it first, and then if that don't work, we'll work smarter, not hotter. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay. Let's do it, brother. You want to bring, uh, I bought uh, two gauge jumper cables. So hopefully that's big enough. That's the biggest ones O'Reilly had. Let's see if this Dodge is jumping off, Hank. <laughs> it will. Look at that. Oh, them are some good ones. Good ones. 
Hold it. Yeah, that's just right there. <laughs> All right, let's pull around there. I'll swing her. I'll turn it around. Come okay. turn around and put my nose in it this way. Positive is on the right side, negative is on the left side. Okay. I think. So, Jacob, how about climbing up there and clamping these on there? Wiley, did you say it had a key in it? Yes, it does. All right. Ready? Fire it up. Let's see what happens. You got. I hear it beeping. Yeah. Let's let it build up a little bit, Hank. Okay. Seventeen thousand six hundred eighty-four hours on this machine. Just getting broke in. Listen, it's actually making hours. Yeah. No, that's not the same as making making a little, is it? <laughs> this is always fun stuff. This is the moment of truth, you know. Get up here, make sure everything's perfect. Let's check the connection, Jacob. Just make sure. Yeah, that's gonna have to be tighter. Yeah, now. that's. Just clamp it on there the best you can. Well, that ain't gonna. That's good. Uh, All right. If needs be. Give it a little bit of fuel in the old 2500. It's like a... I got this little thing off Amazon. It was like 10 bucks or something. But for a simple, quick reading on volts or amps or whatever, this thing right here has been Jacob, the, I'm the bee's knees. The key on Both off, batteries are reading 13.5 volts, so we should be good. We'll start digging okay. around a little bit more. The pump is switching on. You hear it clicking over here when Jacob does stuff. So we know we got some fire. Hear the pump click. Yep. So let's go over here to the starter and see. Look at there how they got that exhaust leak fixed. These guys were. Hey. They was was. <laughs> they were loggers, weren't they? They was. Hard workers. Does your starter, if I had a piece of wire, I might could short it out at the starter and see if we got us see if we could spin. You got any like, a screwdriver or something? Well no, I can't they got it safety. You have to have a piece of wire. Oh yeah, I, uh maybe or, let me look. Got a little starter button in here that will do the trick for us, I think. We might actually get this thing see fired we, up right now. See what we do here. Well, that's a handy too, if it works. Yeah, that's handy, ain't it? Nope. Is the switch on? It's almost like it's not. Let me try this master switch. It could not be sending everything it needs. spinning hard to do it with spinning the fan smaller <laughs> probably do you got something a little bit more more up a little bit more up yeah I do I think I failed at spin I on your side man I think I did yeah I failed at spin then yeah yeah just making sure that's not the problem we're I don't seem to be the problem. It's crank turning. Ready? Hey, Jay, I'm about getting back up in there just a second. 
That could be it. Switch that could be it. Hank. That, forward and reverse here. Safe, safety neutral switch. That could be it. We'll try it. Yeah. Hit the hit the top button up there. Yeah. Hmm. I always thought that. Pull that all the way back. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'll push it forward. All right. Pull it back. It's it's it, yes. All right. So we've talked about it. We think we're just going to go ahead and swap those batteries. See if we can get a hot batteries in there instead of on jumper cables. Wiley, it's really, to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed. That it ain't cranked by now? Well, we haven't used a crescent wrench at all. Not once. Well. This is not, that's why it ain't cranked. You got that little one. One out, one to go. Man, I'm telling you, this is the most prepared I've ever been. When I bought those jumper, when I bought those jumper on, cables. Just a minute, We're going to run the thing and clean these things where we get a good Look at connection. what I bought. Look here. Crazy, huh? When we took that battery, y'all, look what we saw right there. <laughs> so that might be part of the problem. That, that lead probably wasn't uh, making good contact or something. What you doing, Wiley? Just in case this is the problem, I'm going to bypass this disconnect switch. Oh, okay. It'd be direct to the starter then. There you go. I like it. There's some high quality too right here. Ratcheting box in wrenches. Brandle would be proud if he was here right Listen, now. we miss Brandle. That's a good point, uh, Wiley. We miss Brandle is the Hamiltonville farm master mechanic, and he actually moved to Tennessee. So you, it'd be a, a while before you see him in another video. I told him, I said, it doesn't matter that you moved, man. We're going to still make videos together. <laughs> anyway, so Brandle, we miss you, buddy. Now, just going to do yeah, this way. Time together. Time together on one post. Yeah. You ain't want to take the trusty tool and. We've gone this far. This might be the, the, the only crescent wrenchless video I've ever made. And we're gonna beat that starter if it don't work out. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'll. We'll use it for something, won't we? Yeah. Hammer. And when you don't have your camera rolling, hey, listen, I got some electrical tape. You want me to run it around there? We're going positive on this side. Uh, okay. That, that uh, metal piece touched the, the frame of the tractor, or the frame of the what machine. Is, yeah. So it evidently, it, it might have been that switch. Because the power's feeding through the starter that way. And Jacob, be careful with the, just kind of tap that down if you can somewhere. We can slide it over towards you some if you need to. The other one, as you can see, won't yeah. close up tight enough, so we're gonna have to try to something and improvise some way yeah, or another. Small. Let me get you a different wrench. We really doing some Hamiltonville farm. <laughs> I'm really trying to get a little duct tape ingenuity. On. Listen, it ain't stupid if it works. This is the trick right here, Wiley. I hope so. Never thought we put so much time into batteries, huh? I right, hit the button. Oh. There you go. Making a little bit more progress. Switch your key on. You got it on? All right, now hit your button. All right, hang on. Let's hook the jumper cable. I don't know why. Yeah. Something didn't seem right, but it turned. Yeah. Hit your button up top. Hang, hit that starter button over and see if it'll do it, the one I got, unless you unhooked it. There we go. Oh, oh. Come on now. We're doing it now. It's these grounds, Hank. It's the grounds? Yeah, I'm holding them up and it's making it spin over good. Okay. The ones we're having trouble with. Yeah. So that was the whole trouble. The disconnect switch? It's the disconnect switch. Yeah. Uh, switch it back off a minute. I'm going to try to to get a better... Because once I put pressure on these, it spins. Okay. All right. These are just... Well, I don't understand why our screw didn't work. <laughs> See if it's been over now. There we I go. Hope. Come on now. We're gonna let's hook up the jumper cable cables. All right. Oh, uh, we're gonna look for white smoky. All right. Spin it over. Shake your steering wheel too as you go. You know, just back and forth real quick. Bye 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 bye. All right, go. 
You got white smoke? You go? Yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jacob. Hold your mouth right, buddy. There it is. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's wanting to so bad. Ooh. There it is. Hey, <laughs> wow. Hey, you take it. Pull that lever back, set the blade to come up. Pull it back. Oh yeah, look. Okay. Oh, that's in good shape, dude. Yeah! Wiley, how about that, buddy? How about that? That's something else, Hank. This thing's even got a winch drive line. Usually this year model, don't they don't those. do it. They don't have that. So yeah. That's a plus. Yeah. Let's All see. right, Wally, fired up. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. Hank, That's as my old buddy JB Slay says, there's nothing to the matter with it that enough money won't fit. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, that's awesome. Hey, listen, up and running, works great, operational. Wiley's daggum genius. Oh, you too kind. Listen, you figured out that disconnect switch. There's a couple things I want to talk about before we end the video. Number one, I get this question all the time is, uh, hey, what? I've got this piece of equipment sitting around. What do you think the problem is? So some simple things that you look for first is what? Well, the battery disconnect. When I went up there to switch it on and off, you had to have the channel locks there to do it. And I thought, and when we was hitting the starter, you just hit click. No yeah. power or nothing at all. And that starter should have bumped. Sure. 
even if the motor was locked up, you should have heard the starter bump. So anyway, I just tried that. We tried that and make sure that you got good connection on your batteries. Yeah. Now we got by without changing the fuel filters. We yeah. got look, it runs rough because of right, the fuel right. filters. Yeah. But so if, if you'll change the fuel filters when, before you start all this, yeah. put some fresh fluid in it. Don't underestimate clocked filters, uh, air filters, fuel filters, fluid levels because some machines actually work on right. the level of the fluid. Right. And then all your connections for your positive and battery connections on your batteries. And then look for any exposed wiring that goes from like the switch to the to the yeah. battery, switch to the starter, things like that. If you can knock out those simple things, you, you've got a greater right. ch chance of success of starting this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing back, we're gonna load it up on a low boy, and then we're gonna take it to a shop. We're gonna you know, fix some odds yeah, and ends on it. it. It's you know, a, it needs a lot, but one, it's, it's worth fixing. Yeah, so it's loose pins and right, right. So we'll, you'll follow us along on that series because we'll we'll uh, we'll capture all that on video and let you see the progress from how we we rescued it out of this wood out of the woods here, all the way to the process of where it gets to its new owner. Okay, you guys take care. God bless.